Right, so we've measured the valve to valve, which is from that valve to the other side, which is 1770. We've measured the height up until the window, underneath the window sill, which is 640. And now we need depth to the front of the radiator, which is 100 millimetre. Which we write that in there. 100. Yep. Now we'll move to the other side. We'll measure the reveal on this side just to make sure it's exactly the same as the other side. Which it isn't, it's 185 on this side. Always measure them both because usually they are the same, both saying that in this instance or not. It all depends on the way that they build the place. That's 185. And now we need to know the distance from there to there. Which is 810. So I'll put that on the plan. From there to there is 810. But we also need to know wall E. We're going to call that wall E on that side. And that will be from the valve to the corner of the wall. Which is 680. 680. <coughs> now this particular wall <coughs> is probably the most complicated situation that we've got at the moment. All the other walls, this wall and the other walls are very simple. So we've measured wall E, now we'll go on to wall F. Which is 3 metres 840. If you're doing long walls, sometimes it is better if you can ask your partner if they can hold the tape at that end, and then you won't get it wrong. Now we're just going to move around the room now, up to the door. We do wall F, wall G, to measure up from the back of the ashtray up to the corner of the wall again, which is 1 metre and 60. To the opposite pillar. Measure it exactly the same as that we did that side. We'll measure the height again and then we'll measure the width from the furthest point. We've got 620 there. So we've got the I. 620. Again, I'm looking for the widest point. If you're unsure which is the widest point, um, if you get a level, um, level it down and find out which is the widest point and then measure from that, that point to that, if that is the widest point, which, looking at this, it is. That's 180. The J is 180. Then we come to the other side here. Which is 630. 
you. Six thirty. So we just need the height of that pillar. If you're doing any full height and up to date height projects, then we do need to know which are going to be full height. Now I'm going to uh, I'm just going to put full. and also A, B and C full so I know those are full height and these are dead or maybe you can add those on if you want to or just give me the measurements that you want to go up to 